We are in South St. Louis, just a few miles south of the zoo and Forest Park at a small city park in the St. Louis Hills neighborhood. This is a great place to relax and exercise and is very dog friendly. It's called Francis Park. While it does not have a fenced dog area, the park is large with lots of open space and is rarely crowded within the inside of the park. In addition to being able to take your dog here and have fun, there's tennis courts, racquetball courts, handball, squash, softball, soccer, a playground. There's a central water feature where you can kind of dip your feet in if you want or let your dog splash in. Sometimes there's some ducks around there and there's just lots of shade in the park. One of the really unique features in the park is that it includes a coffee shop located right within it. It's the only one that I'm aware of in the St. Louis area. It's called Lanai Coffee and it serves park goers with great drinks along with some limited food and snack items. They have free standard treats for the dogs as well as premium doggy ice cream. And they've got a patio that I'm sitting on right now and there's usually dog, a lot of dogs and dog owners out here enjoying some of those treats. Our dogs, Presley and Priscilla, are very excited about the free treats and Frosted Paws. They will drag us right up to the window and always want to enjoy a couple of Frosty Paws together. They don't like to share, so they each get one. Additionally, there are some chess tables and they have complimentary chess pieces that you can hang out here in the park and try. Um, or if you want to try tennis and racquetball, they've also got uh, uh, rental equipment and uh, balls for sale if you uh, didn't bring your uh, equipment with you. This park was uh, founded in 1960 and it was named after David Roland Francis. Uh, he had donated 60 acres uh, and that makes up the park today. Uh, he was a very prominent figure in uh, St. Louis and the Missouri area. He actually started, one of the, the big things he did was um, he, he was part or head of the Louisiana Purchase Exposition in 1889. He was the mayor of St. Louis and also the Missouri, the governor, Missouri governor after that. Um, the park also hosts uh, several neighborhood events throughout the year. So if you're in this area, you should check out uh, the St. Louis Hills neighborhood website. They have a Grub and Groove event, which is bands and, and, and food. Uh, that's really uh, one of the largest events in the park. They have Brew in the Lou, which is a, a beer tasting, wine tasting event. They also have Art in the Park, uh, which basically the Art in the Park uh, artists are the ones that did the art sculptures and stuff throughout the, the park as you walk through. There's also a professional cycling race, and if you have not seen professional cycling, it is extremely exciting. It's like NASCAR without an engine. There's also a 4x4 soccer tournament, a carnival, and a few other smaller events. So if you're staying in South St. Louis or just passing through, this park is a great option for taking a break with your dogs or without them and just having a, a fun time, maybe a couple hours or even make a day of it. Just plug in 6431 Eichelberger Street, St. Louis, Missouri, 63109 in your GPS, and you'll park next to the tennis courts. There's not actually an address specifically to the to Light and I coffee that's here. So just plug that address in, it'll take you to the to street parking that's all around the park. 